I'm finally back behind the wheel of my RS and it's such an incredible car because every time I drive it, it's just a big, big smile on my face. I'm just so happy to be back here, I really am. I've really missed this car so much. So I'm going to be driving it quite a lot, I think, over the next week or two just to try and rack up some, some mileage so that I can run the engine in. Um, and there's a few things I sort of noticed since I got back in here that I'd sort of forgotten. It just seems like it's so long since I had the car. The first thing that struck me the most was how high these seats are. Because, you know, the, the Renault Scenic, you expect to be slightly raised because that's the sort of car it is. And the Saab was just like a normal car. So you sat sort of, well, just sat a little bit lower. And so when I got in this one, I was like, wow, the seats are quite high. And to get in, because of these side bolsters on the, on the seat base, um, it's quite awkward. Especially, and because they're raised, so you're sort of going up and going over the side bolsters. That's definitely, definitely needs to be addressed, but I do actually have a solution for the seats. And I've ordered them, and they should arrive soon, and it's a modification to lower them. I can't wait. I think the car really, really needs it, actually. The, now, especially now, getting back into it, I was like, mm, yeah, they're too high. I really do need to address it. Fortunately, I have ordered the parts. Right, now I'm just going through the toll road. Oh. You know, the, the, the thing for the toll doesn't seem to work a lot in this car. It works fine in every other car, but not in this car. It's as if there's something something in the windscreen some element or something that doesn't allow it to work it's really weird but if i hang it outside the car it works fine there's definitely something in the windscreen that stops this from working the other thing i really noticed since getting back in the car especially this morning but i'm just on my way to marbella by the way to get the steering straightened because i got it back and it's a bit to the right just a bit poor service really also getting back into the car now after i'm driving the other cars i've sort of noticed how stiff this car really is it really is quite stiff i went out last night with a couple of friends and we went into the town and there's like a sort of like a cobbled road and normally recently in the stop i haven't really noticed the road but we were all like <laughs> going along the road so you really really do notice how stiff it is but you know this is a rally sport car is what it's called and so you expect it to be stiff apart from that i think the only thing really is i've noticed quite a lot especially after driving the other two is how quickly the fuel needle appears to move on this car i mean just leave i left home this morning just under half and it's like on a quarter now and it's like well i haven't gone that far so this is definitely a very thirsty machine I've forgotten about that i think one of the other things that really surprised me when i got back in the car was how quick the steering is because even compared to the ferrari the steering in this car is very quick you know you, the, the car just tucks into any corner and any roundabout in fact I nearly sort of hit a roundabout the other day well yesterday morning because when I picked it up and I sort of left and I turned the steering wheel quite a lot like I would in a normal car and I nearly hit the roundabout because it obviously the steering input doesn't doesn't need to be so much in this car I sort of really noticed that since I got it back um, and this is the way all cars should be surely this is the default right it should be there very shortly so um, I don't know if they'll let me film and they do whatever they need to do to straighten the steering out uh, but if I can't then um, I'll update you afterwards so anyway catch up with you in a sec well that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take that was nearly two hours to get the steering sorted I couldn't film it they actually took the car away somewhere to get the alignment done so Right, but all, all good. The steering wheel is pointing in the right direction, which is what we wanted, um, and it seems all fine, so it's great. So the car is back to normal, so just carry on with the running in now, and um, we need to clean it at some point. There's even cobwebs in here that's been stopped for so long. We've got a bit of a mental day ahead today, so um, probably won't be able to do any more driving, and that's it for filming, but I will do some videos very shortly with the car, and um, 
but in the short time I've just had it and I just went through some nice little road before coming back onto the motorway and oh, it's just so much fun. I love this car so much, really missed it. It's very, very rare I've had this sort of feeling for a car to be honest but just such good fun, really really love it. I'm 